Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. We are back having comedy fun with West of Loathing. And in between episodes, I did a lot of buying and selling. I cleared out a bunch of my inventory and I ended up back in Ghostwood because I vaguely remember there was something we were supposed to do here, but the, the timed quest we couldn't do. But then I was, I was wandering around. I bumped into this cactus and there's a ghost of a regular cactus with a ghost of a pencil on it. So if we take the ghost pencil, I think that means we can do something. And I'm not sure what. I, I genuinely don't remember what it is we're supposed to be doing here. Let's try office supply, first of all. Um, okay, no visitor ID, no supplies. But I, I have a pencil. So um, do I go back to town hall? Is that what I do? That's a number four pencil, not a number three. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Look, a number four is like 33% more official. Ah, <sighs> okay. I don't suppose there's another pencil in there, is there? I need a number three pencil, and I can't get it from the office supply because my temporary visitor's pass expires in 11 seconds. Uh, the ghostly jailhouse seems to be stacked up with boxes of old papers. You don't see any ghost criminals, but usually there isn't anything longer than a life sentence anyway. Nobody's home. Never heard of you. Heesh. How about the stable? Is there a pencil in there? Your fist makes a distant echoey plap sound on the stable door and a ghostly voice comes out of nowhere. Go away! You aren't authorized. Shoo! Well, that is kind of rude. How about the saloon? Let's knock on the door. No shirt, no shirts, no visitor ID, no service. Oh, hey, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Something happened there. Yes, wait, wait. There's a pencil sharpener on that. Someone's mounted a pencil sharpener on one of the balcony posts for some reason. Sharpen a pencil! You stick the number four pencil and grind off about a quarter of it. Does that now count as a number three pencil? I bet that's a number three pencil because we took a quarter of it off. Hey, town hall lady, ghost person. <laughs> it's a number four pencil. No, it's 75% of a number four pencil. I don't see anything about this in the bylaws. Very well, I suppose it will do. Let's get you started on that visitor identification permit. Thank God. Last name McCoy. First name Bobcat. Middle name, yeah, nondescript. Boring Springs. Yes, I'm from Boring Springs. How many bars are in the windows of the adjunct department of records? I don't know, six? Okay. But it was six last time. I didn't ask the same question last time. Oh, God damn it. I, are, are you serious with this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That, that's six. Or maybe it's four. I don't know. Oh god, I hate you. I hate you. My Pope app, my Pope hat and I hate you. Alright, McCoy. Uh, Bobcat. Nondescript. Boring Springs. Okay, how many bars are on the windows of the adjunct department of records? Sure, six? Oh god, all right. Apparently it's not six. Six is not the answer, yes. Uh, McCoy, Bobcat, this is my most stimulating episode yet. Nondescript, Boring Springs. Well, it's not six. How about eight? No, okay. W where is the Department of Adjunct Records? I, I, don't even, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking at. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Here's what I just spared you. I just spared you a solid 15 minutes of going back and forth between all of these buildings doing fun little red tape bureaucratic nightmare quests. Like we went to this building and then we went back to this building and then we had to go back to this building. Then we had to go two doors down and then go to another building and then go back to the first building and then the third building and then the fourth building. Yeah, so um, I, I edited all that out because it, as funny as it is, and it's very, very funny stuff, uh, I, I encourage you to play it for yourself and find out how funny it is. The writing is wonderful. Unfortunately, it is a solid 15 minutes of just going door to door. So I didn't think that was maybe the most interesting thing for you, the viewer. So I cut all of that out, but we did finally complete the quest. We did the thing that they needed us to do and got through all the red tape and, and got, got it done, basically. So we have completed another Breadwood quest. And now that we've completed that... Hi, Tim! I love you, Tim. I love you. I wanted to check out the soup mine again because I, it, it can't be that difficult. We've got to be missing something here. 
All right, off to, well, what do we got here? There's a deep, gravelly exhalation of breath behind you, and you realize they're an ambushed by a hell cow. Big one, too. Yeah, I think we can do a hell cow. Absolutely. We've, we've had little problems with hell cow in the past. You know what hell cow hates? Being set on fire. You know what everyone hates? Being set on fire. So, hell cow. Yeah, you're on fire now. Um, and Alice wants to just shoot him. Probably should have got Bean Gollum up and running, but whatever. Oh. Okay, Alice just got one shot in. Bean Gollum, I'm, I'm gonna need your assistance on this one. Um, and let's, let's set him on fire again. Um, unless any of our. What's Black Scalibur gonna do? Black Scalibur's gonna do absolutely nothing, and neither is the pistol. Okay, uh, set you on fire it is. Go, go, set him on fire more. Uh, okay, good. He didn't one-shot me. Excellent. And what can we do? I set him on fire again. That's my answer to everything right now. Set him on fire. There we go. All right. Okay, so maybe we're not super awesome against Hellcows, but we got through it. Infernal Soul Fragment. A wispy, tattered little bit of Infernal Cow Spirit just hanging out on this side of the pail going, boo and smoldering leather. Okay, just call me the butcher. Fantastic. Let's get over to the soup mine, because I I feel we've got to be missing something here. I just want to make... Did we check... We're so close to finishing these breadwood quests. Did we check absolutely everything? All right, there's nothing in there. There's no... This tree doesn't do... Oh, we accidentally walked into the mine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Did we... Okay, uh, that's right, we needed lockpicking. Okay, we needed lockpicking, and we don't have that. Uh, there was no soup in here that we could get, and there was no soup in here that we can get. Because we need a wrench for this, right? That was the whole problem here. There's nothing in there. Campfire, nothing to do there. There's nothing down in here. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. A diary. Okay, yeah, read the diary. I don't think I saw this. Oh, I did see this. Yeah, everything smells like soup. Yes, everything smells like soup. All right. Um, don't suppose you'd like to give me where you left the key to your toolbox up there, do you? Got noodles in my boots. I hate this so much. Now the damn elevator's busted. Yeah, I read this the last time. I was kind of hoping there might be more info on how to get that toolbox open. 137, 59, and 23 pound compression springs for repairs. Okay. There's nothing in here that says, like, you left a key somewhere or not. No. Okay. And we, we just definitely can't use this elevator without a wrench, right? Yep, gonna need a wrench. Alright, well, may have to come back and yet again readdress that. Because there's nothing over here, right? I gotta figure just the way this game works, that wrench is in that toolbox right here. But I have no ability to do it, because I don't have lockpicking. Okay, Alice, we're going back to Breadwood. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, where did Breadwood live? I've totally forgotten. Where did Breadwood live? I have totally forgotten, actually. The Dave Yard. Butterfield Ranch. Oh my god, I've lost Breadwood. There it is! Uh, goblins. Yeah, you encounter a goblin chef. Oh, it's the goblin chef again. Yeah, totally. Cool. Absolutely. I like this guy. He's funny. He has a chef hat and a spatula. Let's set him on fire. Fire time! Yeah, you didn't like that very much. Uh, Alice, just go ahead and shoot that guy. Alright, please do not one-shot Alice. Oh, you're gonna two-shot her. But I, I think we got this under control. Blammo! There we go. Alice, get that guy with the shotgun thingy. Oh, he did virtually no damage to me. I'm just gonna hit him with Black Scalibur. Black. Problem has been solved. Kitchen pants. Oh, oh, those are really good. Twenty percent across the board resistances. Hmm, indeed. Hmm, indeed. Let's check those out. That's, those are kind of nifty. I mean, we've got our quilted pants. What are they doing for me? A little bit of HP and some armor. Oh, no, I think we're taking the kitchen pants. 
Remind me what the chastity pants did. I'm, I don't want to wear them ever, but just... Oh, yeah, it's actually bad for you. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's wear the kitchen pants. That was a good move to kill that goblin. Those are, those are really nice. All sorts of resistances now. Uh, Breadwood, I, I've solved another problem for you. Excuse me, Mayor, I have some papers you need to sign for that logging permit. Oh, ghost paper. This stuff is weird. And I think I need a ghost pencil for this. Well, you know what? I spent about 15 minutes getting you a ghost pencil. Here, borrow my pencil. Sign down here and initial over here. After some fumbling with the ghostly pencil, the mayor eventually manages to sign and initial the form. I'll be back soon with that permit, God willing. Oh, God, we've got to go back there. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, we've got to go back there. All right, Tim, we actually have not completed the quest yet. We've got to go back to uh, Ghostwood again. It's funny stuff, but it's it's a teensy bit repetitive. It's, um, oh, if this is another 15 minutes of walking back and forth between all of these buildings, I, I will pull the plug on West of Loathing. I'm telling you that right now. Ah, uh, yes, hello. I've got the mayor's signature on this logging permit form. Sign the last line at the bottom where it says receipt. I loaned my pencil to the mayor. Oh dear. And his response is exactly what I would think, which is, excuse me while I go kill everything. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm inclined to agree with that. Okay, um, Tim? Tim? Crazy, crazy Tim. Back, back to Breadwood. Back, back to Breadwood. Oh, you spot a guy riding down the road on a brown horse wearing a brown fur hat and carrying a brown shopping bag with a brown loaf of stolen bread sticking out the top. You can tell it's stolen because the bag has a little picture of a loaf of bread on it. <laughs> he rides up and brandishes a great big loaf of bread at you. Hand over all your bread or I'll bludgeon you to death. Jeez, you sure like bread, huh? Yeah, it's kind of my thing. Um, I'm, I'm going to use my outfoxen skill and offer him infinite bread. Listen, you know that old saying, give a man a fish and he eats for a day, teach a man to fish and he eats for the rest of his life? I don't like fish, I just like bread. You've kind of missed the point, I'll go slowly. You write down your bomb's bread recipe and explain it to him in short words. He gives you his large and very stale loaf of bread in exchange and rides away excitedly. What do we get for that? Plus five mysticality. Now, what do we do with it? Is that, something, is that an offhand weapon? Can I hold a loaf of bread? Well, we've taught him better ways. And I like bread, too. I'm, I, I'm inclined to agree with that guy. I think he and I would get along. Um, can I have my pencil back, Mr. Mayor? You still have my ghost pencil. I need that. Oh, terribly sorry. I think it's haunting my beard. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you giving me my ghost pencil back. It took me... It felt like a day to get it. Back to Ghostwood we go. Okay, okay, seriously, let me sign the damn paper for this thing. I'm, 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 we're at critical mass here, West of Loathing. We are approaching the event horizon with West of Loathing. Let me sign the paper. Okay, I've got the mayor's signature on the logging permit form. Sign it. That's everything taken care of. Breadwood's logging permit is hereby approved. Finally, wonderful processing will take about 48 hours. Well, everything has to be filed, and the actual permit has to be printed, and so on. You can pick it up in two days. Okay. Good. Good. Um, do, do we have a, a sense of time in this game? I actually didn't even know days were passing. Uh, how does that even work? Do I just guess? I'm probably just going to guess. What is that? Is that like a ghost rock down there? Okay, well, whatever it is, we can't do anything with it. All right. Well, maybe I can go back to Breadwood and get them to go pick it up in a couple of days. That, that'd be nice. Off the trail's shoulder, you see some ancient petroglyphs carved into a rock. Okay, sure, I'll translate them. Apparently I can. They seem to translate to, My fourth is the fourth of nothing but time. Intriguing, and grit level goes up. I'd like to get my lockpick and level up. That'd be super. Hi, Breadwood Mayor. Did you manage to get the logging permit yet? No, apparently I haven't. No, I don't have the soup. No, I haven't sorted out the trouble at the cemetery. You don't know where I can buy a wrench, do you? You, you, don't, you wouldn't happen to have a wrench. That would be great. Um, is there anyone here who would, like, sell a wrench? All is not well with this well. What does that mean? 
Okay, it doesn't mean anything, apparently. Uh, bunkhouse. I, I really want the drunk horse. Oh! Was it this cemetery? Is that... Did you actually mean the cemetery in Breadwood? Uh, is there something I'm supposed to be doing here? How about this one? There's a patch of pepperoni mold growing out of this grave. Well, I don't think I'd want to harvest that even if I could. And more pepperoni mold. Nothing that way but thousands of trees. Okay, well, apparently it's not that cemetery. Why would it be that easy? Bunkhouse, anyone got a wrench in here? Like, really, I need a wrench hardcore. On the one hand, it's a modern convenience. On the other hand, it's got zero pri privacy. Well, let's flush it just for fun. Okay. We, we got experience for flushing the toilet. Uh, do any of you guys have a wrench? Guy seems to be very focused on his beard growing. That's an admirable quality, sir. Chillin' by the fire. Must not be a very good fire. I was supposed to take a picture of an owl skeleton? I don't remember that. Uh, okay. Owl right. Oh, I kind of vaguely remember that now. Oh, this footlocker is labeled H. Halloway, and it's very locked. We really need lockpicking. We really, really need lockpicking. Or a wrench. I'm willing to take either. At this point, I will take either of those two things. Buttery biscuit. Don't suppose you got a wrench, do you? Don't be this guy. Okay, I want to talk to don't be this guy. Grimly washing dishes, he notices you and waves you away, irritated. Can we play darts? See bartender for darts. Okay. He doesn't want to talk to me. Is, is this the bartender? I don't even know anymore. Well, well, looks like some poor son of a biscuit wandered into town. Howdy, cake sucker. Oh, geez, rude and baffling. Get used to it. We like our cussin' here in Breadwood. But cake sucker? We also like our breads and bread-related products. <laughs> okay. Um, buy a drink, ask about the darts, or ask about the guy washing dishes. What's, what's up with the guy washing dishes? That muffin lover ran up a tab he couldn't pay off, so now he gets to wash dishes. Some of them dishes I've been saving for just such an occasion. How much does he owe? 150. You know what? I'll pay it. I'll pay it. You're even dumber than I assume, but whatever, you can tell him he's free. Alrighty. Maybe he has a wrench. I need a wrench. Hi, you're free to go. Do you have a wrench? That's really the only two things I need to discuss with you. What'd you do a thing like that for? I was just feeling charitable, I guess. Well, thanks, but I don't know how to do pretty much nothing except washing dishes. Well, I can also wash clothes and I can play the washboard. That's pretty much it, though. Yeah, go to dirt water. There's plenty of job opportunities opening up in dirt water. Why don't you try your luck there? He leaves with a wave and the bartender replaces the sign on the wall. Okay. How about you? Do you have a wrench? Two old friends reminiscing about good times. Uh, do you have a wrench? What are these guys up to? I don't know. Let's ask them. The man with the white hat looks broken sad. What you playing, fellows? Pharaoh! But I wouldn't say we're playing. I say we did play until this cowpoke ran out of money. Well, how does it work? You bet 50 meat, and then you name as many pharaohs as you can. Every time you name one, I give you 20 meat. If those are the rules, have this guy lose all of his meat to you. He's real bad at it. Yeah, I'm, I'll give it a try. Why not? Sure. All right, partner. Start naming pharaohs. Student common. Everyone knows that one. Uh, Yeah, I can't even pronounce that. Tara, blah, 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 blah. That's all I got. I got 20 meat. Okay, fair enough. Come back anytime. That's a fun game. I actually know more pharaohs than that. I could have listed more. Breadwood Trading Post. Let's trade with it. Do you have a wrench? Oh my god, do you have a wrench? And you don't have a wrench. You absolutely don't have a wrench. Um, mushroom plucking. Monkey wrench! Oh my god, monkey wrench. Yes. Yes, I'm absolutely. I'm spending an obscene amount of meat on that. Oh, they have lock pick and book. That's okay. I didn't have the money for it anyway. I, wait, can I generate the money for it? Like, I could sell things. I got tons of stuff to sell. Uh, yeah, sell. Uh, no, I'm not selling that. Actually, I already sold a bunch of stuff. The censored sensor. I just, I feel I want to keep that. The Breadwood Cheat Sheet is just cussing. And that's fine. Um, sell that. Oh, no, I'm equipped that. No, never mind. Tequila, out. Cultist Mask, out. Um... I've never used these binoculars. Out. Keeping the dynamite. Oh, I got her. I always forget I have dynamite. Nah, definitely not selling fake Pope hat. No siree. No, 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 no. We're fake Pope all day, all night. Uh, full canteen. Puts out fires. That might be handy. 
A uh, handful of loose teeth, sure. Hard loaf, uh, I'm probably never gonna use that. High tail and boots, out. Oh no, I'm equipped, I, I'm wearing those, never mind. Uh, hog oil, probably not. Incendiary bullets, ooh, I didn't, I wasn't even 100% sure I, I had those. But that's great, we'll use those. Um, I'm wearing the kitchen pants. Uh, what else we got? Needles, I think we need that for something, I don't know. Putrid cow bile, that can definitely go. Patent emetic, out. Ring of getting places faster. Do I have that equipped? No. Okay. Out. Out. Keep the shovel. Silver pistol. Out. We're still not going to get up to 2,500, are we? Yeah, no. Not even close. But that's fine. We, we've got a wrench. Let's go see if that means something to us. <gasps> oh my god, it works. It actually works. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, good. All right. So, let me see if I understand. We need to get this up to 3,200 pounds pressure required, and we can turn all the bolts in different ways, but this guy, this guy totally told us what we need, right? That was the only piece of useful information in this whole thing. Yes! I had to spend the whole day scrounging around to find replacement 137, 59, and 23 pound compression springs for repairs. And he's installed them, apparently. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we just need to figure out. We just need to. I need to. I need to go get a calculator. Really, that's exactly what needs to happen. I need to go get a calculator so I can figure out how to make all of these equal 3,200 pounds. Hold on a sec. I'll be right back with some math. Yep. So me and a calculator, and a couple of seconds later, it is just twisting the bolts until you add up to 3,200. This should be the last one. Should be. Yes, you hear a plate snap firmly into place and the elevator now seems to be humming with life. Yay, we've actually accomplished something. There better be some soup down there. There better be a whole lot of soup. Oh, this looks like an active soup vein. Yes, soup, soup, bowl of soup. Yes, more soup, all the soup for me. Give me all the soup. What about here, is there more soup in here? Not an interesting crack in the wall. Okay, oh, there's snakes, there's snakes. Um, don't really want to go near the snakes. Not right now. How about more soup? Yes, soup. Got a soup. Yes, more soup for me. Um, are we supposed to go attack the snakes? Probably. Oh, yeah, they've got a lot of soup in there. Grab some soup. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, Bean Golem, you're up. What else can we do to you? Oh, you know what's going to work well here? That dynamite. Yeah, throw some dynamite at you. Uh, that didn't work quite as well as I expected it to. All right, anything we can do to all of you? No, no, not surrender. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, just set him on fire. It's fine, just set him on fire. Yep, Alice, shoot all of them. Spooky soup spit. Well, that kind of hurt, and that hurt even more. But I think we're going to be okay. Um, let's, yeah, let's just get this guy down. Probably don't need too much to do that, right? Well, let's set him on fire anyway. Let's just be better safe than sorry. And then, Alice, you're going to heal me. Yeah, Alice heal me. Me, not Bean Golem. Yay! Ow, that really hurts. Really, really hurts. And Bean Golem... Bean Golem, you are just less handy as time goes on. I'm just... I'm concerned about your contribution to the group here. Uh, Alice, heal me again. Okay, we should be good. This should be fine. Bean Golem misses again. Oh, uh, well, actually, I don't have any, um... Hmm, don't have any spells left. Well, I don't have any action points left. What's gonna do more damage? The pi yeah. Pistol, shoot him. Alice, just to be on the safe side, why don't you heal me again? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bean Golem. 
Oh, come on, you had one job there. You had one job, man. Yay! Did we get some more soup? We didn't get any more soup. Okay. Did we get a lot of soup out of that, though? Bowl of soup. Five bowls of soup. I believe that's what we need. Yay! I think we actually accomplished two quests today, even though we can't pick one up for 48 hours. So let's call it a part for there. Uh, we will pick this up again next time. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>